nose to look before you cross the street, but do you look before you flush? Yes. yes. If you do, you're smart, and if you're confused about what you see, you're in luck. Because it's time for a segment we like to call, What the Flush? <laughs> we got this question from one of our viewers, Diana, who writes, I've been on the ketogenic diet for a couple of months, and I've noticed my urine almost looks oily. Could this be connected to my diet, and is it a concern? This is actually a question we're seeing pop up a lot on low-carb diet forums. Join us now via Skype to help answer is urologist Dr. Aaron Spitz. Dr. Spitz. Hi, Dr. Spitz. We love bringing you into these greasy situations. <laughs> Are you getting asked this question by, by folks? Yeah, it's interesting. This is something that's emerging because the ketogenic diet is this new fad. And as you pointed out, ketogenic diet uh, severely restricts access to carbs or sugars and encourages instead eating fat. And this is because the body uses sugar as fuel, but when it doesn't have sugar to use as fuel, it'll take fat and, can, and convert it into ketones, which it can use as an alternative fuel. And ketones are excreted into the urine. And one of the ketones is acetone, and acetone is nail polish remover. So now don't get any ideas about DIY nail polish remover, <laughs> some things are worth the money, okay? But the acetone or the ketones that come out in the urine have a different density than water, which is the same density as urine normally, but now the urine has this different density and it has this sort of oily or, or chemical spill look. I want to give you a little demonstration that I put together. Here's the bowl and here's someone on a ketogenic diet who's got to go real bad. Now check out what happens when the, when the urine hits the water. It has a very kind of oily, slick look to it. Mm -hmm. And that's what a person who is in ketosis, who's excreting a lot of ketones or acetone and other ketones into their urine, will notice when they're looking at the bowl. This is something that we used to see when people were starving or had severe diabetes, reasons that their body had run out of sugar or couldn't access the sugar, and that's why they were starting to break their fat down into ketones bad enough to alter the urine. But now we're starting to see and hear about this because of this ketogenic diet fat. That's why also and, you and your that, urine will have a little bit of a, because of the ketones. A, a different scent too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's excreted, it's excreted out through the lungs as well as in the urine, and it smells like nail polish remover. Mm -hmm. So it's it's an unpleasant smell on the breath. It's an unusual smell on the breath. And it used to be a warning sign, but more and more now, it's it's a goal that people are striving for in this ketogenic diet, which personally I don't know really how healthy it is, because when you're Looking at the foods that people are eating on this ketogenic diet, it's a lot of what we consider the fat stuff, hot dogs, hamburgers, bacon, really fatty animal products that, you know, really aren't necessarily all that good for you. Yeah, I mean, this has become a pretty trendy diet. You see celebrities so. like Halle Berry and Adriana Lima doing this. And the idea is that if you keep giving your body only fat and you restrict the regular carbohydrates and the sugars that your cells typically use for fuel, after about a week or so, your body will convert over and start breaking down the fats. And that's why it's being used to, to drop fat very quickly. But I just don't know. I agree with Dr. Spitz about the sustainability of this diet. And also, apparently, people feel pretty pretty lousy that first week when they're really severely restricting the carbs. Your you, body takes you, a wild transition. You shift into that ketosis exactly. mode. Exactly, yeah.